humans have always been fascinated by others who can talk like us. Whether it's a parrot or a voice assistant like Alexa, OK Google or Siri. Now, parrots simply repeat what they hear without understanding the true meaning of what they are saying. But our voice assistants are smarter than that. They can do meaningful tasks for us, control our devices and even have an interactive conversation with us. The major field which gives us power to voice assistants is natural language processing or NLP. Simply put, NLP makes it possible for artificial devices to process natural languages in written or spoken format. In fact, NLP supports us in several day-to-day -day tasks such as identifying spams, search engines, grammar corrections and so on. Now the question arises, how do artificial devices understand natural languages like English or Hindi? Well, our computers and algorithms don't really understand words. So we have to convert text to numbers. If we are dealing with audio, then we first convert speech to text and then to numbers. Now, there are many methods through which text can be converted to numbers. And for different applications, we may use different methods. But that's something that we will discuss in an advanced course. Once our text is converted to numbers, we use certain specialized machine learning and deep learning algorithms to train them for specific tasks using large amount of data. So what are these tasks that we can train our machine learning or deep learning algorithms for? We can train them for sentiment analysis. Given a tweet or a newspaper article, we will get to know whether the text is displaying a positive, a negative or a neutral sentiment. Let's say if the Ministry of Finance wants to evaluate what people think about the latest budget. They can look at all the tweets with the hashtag budget and use NLP to evaluate whether people are happy with the new budget or not. We can train our algorithm to identify a topic given a large amount of text information and also to summarize our report as well. Government officials have to often deal with large reports and using a well-trained algorithm to summarize these reports into key points can save a lot of time. Another landmark use case of NLP is language translation. Now, India is a country rich with languages and having a NLP trained translator can help us convert documents, websites, public notices to various regional languages. In fact, it can even help us to talk in regional languages. Some of the other fascinating things where NLP can help us are auto-completion of our sentences on emails and social media, intelligent chatbots, writing books and articles, and voice assistants. In fact, voice assistants are a blend of multiple emerging technologies. A human will say, hey assistant, turn the lights on. Through speech recognition, the spoken words will get converted to text. Text will get converted to numbers that the system understands. The number will go through a set of trained NLP algorithms which will give message about action. The action message would be conveyed to the light bulb using Internet of Things or IoT. And finally, the bulb will be turned on. Of course, all this will happen in a fraction of a second. We have talked about some fascinating use cases of NLP. Let's also understand what NLP cannot do at the moment. At the moment, NLP cannot give us very high accuracy on tasks. And even a 75% accuracy is considered quite good. One of the reasons for this is that languages have complex attributes such as sarcasm, irony, idioms and many more. Even the inflection of words can change the meaning of a sentence. For example, I like NLP and I like NLP can have two very different meanings. Also, 
the NLP algorithms are very domain specific. So an algorithm trained to analyze legal documents will not be suitable to analyze medical records. Finally, NLP algorithms will give better results for languages like English, for which there's a large amount of data available. And if we need similar performance on regional languages, we will need to put a lot of efforts in collecting and cleaning the data. All right, so in this video, we learned about what is NLP, we learned about some very interesting use cases of NLP, and we also talked about a few limitations. Hope you're finding these videos interesting. Look forward to see you in our next Emerging Technology video.